back to my channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Gemma and I'm losing weight following a calorie control diet. So you'll probably be thinking where have I been? It is Sunday the 18th and I think I put a random vlog up in the week. If you are new to the channel, I do vlog daily normally, but I've just not been really well. So hang on one sec. So we've all, we've all had it. It's like, it's just been a really bad cold, but because of my asthma, it got on my chest and I'm just really, really not well this week. Um, I had Friday off work, which is like my first sick day in a year. So um, since I were in hospital with me, my heart issues, um, which is not like me, I slept most at day. And I'm just, Still left feeling rubbish. I scraped myself out last night because we were seeing a meatloaf tribute, which um, took some paracetamols and that before I went out. And um, felt all right, but at the end at night, I felt shocking. And today I've just got uh, just a stonking headache. So, but do you know what? It's that time of year, isn't it? There's just so many bugs going around. And um, yeah, obviously I weren't. Vlogs would have been pointless because I was eating lots. And what I were eating was just dodge, you know, just easy. Um, but yeah, anyway, stop dampening it, move, Gemma. So this vlog is, it's going to be a bit of a mix. I did film a what I eat in a day. I can't even remember what day it were. Um, and I've had like, think, like thoughts about what I'm going to be doing going forward, but I'm definitely sticking to calories. I love calories and every diet works as long as you stick to it. And every calorie, is, uh, every diet is based around calories. So I'm gonna make it work for myself. Um, I've asked Father Christmas for lots of cookbooks. Um, been loving doing the Hello Fresh meals and following the recipe cards has shown me that I can actually follow recipes. And um, I used to have a lot of anxiety around cooking anything different thinking that I couldn't do things, but following these step-by-step -step recipes has really helped. So yeah, I've asked for quite a few recipe books and me and Steve are going to carry on cooking together, making lovely meals and having a variety of foods as well. So that's the plan. Whether we'll have a few Hello Freshers during the year, maybe. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to start planning and, and buying to accommodate that. I mean, in my personal opinion, Hello Fresh is very reasonable for we the really generous portions, and we generally make um, a meal that should feed four, and it feeds five easily. And for the money, for what I pay if I went to shopping to Morrison's or Tesco's, it's 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 around similar, if not less, because. The price of things now in supermarkets is absolutely ridiculous. And obviously this is all sent, portioned to, to what you need for that meal. So yeah, I'll probably try them. I mean, what I'll do is when I'm feeling a lot better is have a big chat about like plans for 2023, um, kind of thoughts on my channel, getting to Target, which I'm still gonna be doing. In this vlog, I'll put my, um, we'll talk about my weighing that I did yesterday, still got weighed, face the scales, um, we'll talk about, um, yeah, I'll show you my day in, yeah, my, my food for, I can't even remember what day it were, and in that I explained that I changed to um, maintenance calories which I'm going to be doing from today, it's not going to plan, but from tomorrow, I'm going to be doing maintenance calories at Monday to Friday, and um, just to try and kind of minimise it. So what I'll do now is I'm going to flick to my day, and then cherries, cherries.com, pop it up there, have kindly gifted me some goodies, and they've also given me a discount code for all my friends, family, and you lovely lot. So I will pop that up on screen once I show the cherries bit. There's a few homeware bits, 
um, some foods. Um, I think there's a few like Christmassy bits. But yeah, they use Hermes to deliver. So you may, if you order in the next couple of days, get it before Christmas. But I suppose they'll say on the site anyway. So we're going to go on to um, my daily vlog. Not filmed in the week. And then we're going to go on to what I got from Cherries. And then um, I will let you know how I've got on weighing. And obviously, see how this week goes. So I am feeling a lot better than I did, but I've just got the most horrendous headache. And I think that's probably just like black sinuses or whatever. But today we've just done um, like a Christmas Morrison shop, which came to 200, 235 pound, which is absolutely ridiculous. So bear in mind, we're not big drinkers. So all we've got is a little um, pack of San Miguel and Steve's got some not Tia Maria Bailey's for in his coffees. He likes a nice, nice Christmassy coffee. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. The cost and things, it's really, really ridiculous. So I weren't gonna film it, but I, I just went up to it today, but I am gonna get back into vlogging. I just needed that that rest time. I just absolutely shattered. Hopefully I'll get back into it tomorrow. Um, have a good night's sleep, have a nice chill day. I mean, my house is an absolute state, but the kids are off school next week, so I've got no running around on school, and so I'll have time before work, I'll have time after work, and on my lunch breaks, try and get sorted. Still got some Christmas shopping still. Um, so we're gonna go in Medwall at some point this week. There's only two more people to buy for, um, but unfortunately, I, the places that I need to go are in Medwall, so. Yes, I'm going to roll on now and you can see what I ate one day this week. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to the channel, my name's Gemma and I am trying to lose weight following a calorie control diet. Um, today is Thursday. It is um, the 15th of December. And I didn't film yesterday because I were out for my work meal. I'm feeling not too well today. I feel worse than I did. Um, but you've just got to get on with it. I've got work to do. I've got children to look after. And unfortunately, I can't just go to bed and sleep it off. Anyway, I had to think about it yesterday. Um, and I've decided, after a few suggestions from you lot, um, that I'm going to change to maintenance calories until... I get my ass in gear <laughs> or until after Christmas. Um, so I'll pop it up on screen. This is my maintenance calories. I'm just trusting new to check, put my current weight in, and I'm hoping that that'll keep me in the 12 stone bracket over Christmas. I'm gonna try my best, but it does give me that flexibility. Um, so yeah, I'll try my best. So I've already had breakfast, I'll show you that. I'll show you anything that I eat today, sorry. I'm gonna sneeze. Um, yeah, so. I'll try my best, show you what I eat. I'm not going to say it's going to be the healthiest, but I'm going to try and stay within those calories um, up until Christmas. So breakfast, I've estimated at 381 calories. It's got two bacon medallions and a fried egg and some ketchup on. Probably a big mistake buying these, but I'm going to try one of these for 205 calories. So, it's well, it's lunchtime at work, but I have taken the afternoon off. Um, to try and get myself well. So I'm gonna lay on the settee, I've got my my cover. Um, I'm just doing myself some dinner. And um, I'm gonna probably just gonna sleep this afternoon because I feel shocking. I'll just touch some more ibuprofen, but I think everyone seems to have it. Everyone seems to have it locally. Um, it's not COVID, but it is. A nasty bug, so just, just I wouldn't say it's flu, um, because I've been able to function. I think with flu you're just absolutely wiped out, aren't you? But it's just very bad cold, achy, shaky, headache, cough, chest uh, setting me asthma off. But it is what it is. But um, I feel better for setting my calories to maintain because I've put an awful lot of weight on 
in space for a couple of weeks and it's not good is it you know when you've tried so hard to get it off it's just you can put it on so quickly <coughs> and um you've just got to try and minimize that i've uh, like, I, I was thinking about that something, but it's just not for me. It's just so unsociable. And, like, I was thinking about things I could make and looking through recipe books and, like, missing out on all those yummy foods I've been um, having and, like, replacing your creme fraiche with cork. Oh, I can't think about worse. And rice pudding for my breakfast and I know, sweetheart. What's the matter? You can come up on set tea with me if you want. Come and give mummy a cuddle. Hey, eh? what the matter? Say hello. Say hello. Hey, eh? what's the matter? Mm -hmm. Um, and like going out for meals and having to just pick, ask how they cook the meat and having plain stuff and I've been jacket, trying to pick jacket potatoes instead of other stuff. And I know it would be a lot easier now I eat more food, but it really did trigger me to binge and secret eat. And I don't want... I want to be transparent. I don't want to be that person. And um, obviously calories takes into account your exercise. And when I'm well, I will be in gym and I will be getting my physique back. I mean, your muscle memory lasts for quite a long time, so... I'll soon get back into it. It's just about staying positive and trying your best. Um, that's all you can do. So, like I said, I've put my, my calories to maintenance. I'm just going to try my best. That's all I can do. So, I'll show you my dinner when it's ready. And then after dinner, I am going to have a good old nap. So, this is dinner for 381. I've got half a Pizza Express. Um, I think they're called Sloppy Giuseppe pizza um, and I've got some 10 to 10 broccoli and mushrooms which I have just roasted in the ninja with salt and pepper on and some spray oil um, it's not my preferred way to cook my mushrooms and broccoli but I'm probably not going to be able to taste them anyway <laughs> snack for 104 calories so we're having lasagna for tea our Alex has just fried me off some um, mince with some Tesco and some an onion with Tesco um, lasagna sauce, and then layered it up with Tesco uh, Morrison's lasagna sheets and Tesco white sauce lasagna sauce, and then we've got 100 grams of cheese on top, and it's going to serve for us because Alex's girlfriend's here. Uh, she's not very well as well, bless her. So yes, it is definitely a sick house. We're just going to have these with garlic bread. I'm not going to do any veg. So that's the lasagna done, and it splits into four. Um, and it's 546 calories per portion. So this is tea, and with the garlic bread, it's 730 calories. So this is what I'm finishing my day with. The Freddo is 95 calories. The Skinny Crunch is 65 calories. Not sure I'm going to be able to taste them. Couldn't taste tea, um, but I want them. And I'm finishing just under my calorie goal. Um, so... Yeah, I'll pop a screen scroll up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. So, like I said, the Cherries guys are, have kindly gifted me some items, which is really generous of them, and I just want to say thank you very much for that. Uh, they do use Hermes, but obviously check their website. Um, I don't think they're affected by the postal strike, so if you do see anything that you want, you, you may get it for Christmas. There's quite a lot of Christmas gifts on there. So if you just have a look, I'll pop the disco code in the description below. I'll also pop it up on the screen now and I'll pop a link to their page. Um, and I'll show you, obviously, what I've got in here. So I've got a couple of selection boxes. Now these are for, um, they are probably not watch my channel, but my sister's partner has two children from a previous marriage and I just like to I don't really see them but I think it's just nice to to include them in in family and um, I like to give them a little bit of something so I've got them um, a selection box and who don't like Galaxy oh it's just amazing I'm not gonna lie I did buy these a while back and I've had them on my Christmas pile to wrap and I ended up eating them all so 
can't do that again. But I think these were £2, but what I'll do is I'll pop it up on screen. I'll pop um, a screenshot of the cherries where it shows the prices. So, yeah, I got those too. Got lots of goodies in here. Now, I'm hoping the mother-in-law isn't watching these, but she loves dark chocolate and she loves mint. So, just a little, little stocking filler for her. Um, so, I'll pop them up on screen as well. What else we got? I, I tried to get some, because obviously I'm still counting calories, and I want to try this week. I just wanted some little snacks in with kids being off, but something that um, is low calories that I can count. So I've got some of these. These are 96 calories, so the sparm, and it just gives you that kick of chocolate that you need. Some little snacks for Bonnie Boo. I don't know if she'll like this. She's so fussy with snacks. But I thought these would be um, nice to try, like little bacon rashers, um, bacon flavoured rashers. I'm not even sure what they're made of. Cereals, meat and animal derivatives. Um, so she can try some of those. I do, um, I'm hoping she's not watching, but I do my niece a little um, hamper for Christmas. And I just thought that would be nice to put in a little a little diary. Um so yeah, that's going to go in a little hamper. I'm trying to get organised now. Get everything, get everything sorted for Christmas. Um, I got one of these because I thought my oven's ready for a clean, and I tried clean it base. I've got like a scraper, but I thought if I can squirt something on it, like dissolve it a bit, and try and use these because it does say it's for grill and pan. I've not used these minky ones before. I think I've got like minky scourer or something. Um, but I've not tried these ones before, so I'm going to give them a try. You might check it out on YouTube, see what best products you, to use uh, alongside them. i got some um, dishwash cleaner as well. I, I don't clean it very often, probably once a year, but it does build up with lime scale in this area, so it is, it's always um, better to get it clean. So I've got one of those to put in. Dishwasher cleaner. <coughs> Now, these are for the car, the clip-on. I'm not sure how they clip-on. But I've got me and Steve one just for in a car. You can clip them anywhere. Um, these are flower blossom. But I like Airwick stuff because they do actually smell strong and nice. So, yeah, I've got these Airwick car fresheners. <gasps> now, these oh, my absolute favourites. Cadbury rounders now. I do tend to binge these, so I'm going to really, really try and not. Um, I really want to stick to my maintenance calories this week. These are 159 calories and just right up my street. Some Freddos. You can't not have Freddos. Don't matter what diet you're on, Freddos are accommodated. So 95 calories. Like Slimming World, I used to have these a lot. I used to have a bowl of popcorn and a Freddo. Um, and I used to have like a little nibbler of Freddo and then a, <laughs> a piece of popcorn. I got some of these. Now, I think we're going for a walk on the 27th, all being well. And I thought these would be nice for putting in backpack to take for us and his friends. They're 51 calories each and it's the Lotus Biscoff with milk chocolate filling. They do it with, I think there's a white filling or a Lotus cream filling as well. These outside. Now I don't like marzipan, but Steve loves marzipan, so I thought, why not get him one of these? So just got that for Christmas. Yeah, it's not my cup of tea, but him and his mum absolutely love it. Kids love J2O, but it's not something I buy him a lot because they're expensive. Um, so I've got um these J2O fruit blends, so they're for over Christmas. Let me put them on there. And then I got them the orange and passion fruit as well. And these are cans, so obviously they can go straight in the recycling bin once we're finished with them. Um, oh, I know what this is. A drying mat. Now, with the Ninja, when you clean it, they don't really fit on my, um, my sink. So I usually lay um, a tea towel out and I thought, oh, do you know what? A, a proper drying mat would be nice. So I've got... This, which is a lot thicker, so it's not going to ruin my um, my kitchen side. 
and I can put my ninja on to, to obviously drip dry. So yes, got that. Forgot I'd got that. Oh, some fudges, which I absolutely love fudge. 98 calories, again, affordable with any diet. What else we got? Ooh. Oh, this is obviously recyclable as well. Oh, yeah. I've got one of those um, Airwick bathroom sprays, so it's ready for a refilling. I love smell of vanilla, so I've got this one. I'm running out of side behind me. <laughs> Let's move that over there. Yorkshire pudding tin. I have got um, a muffin tin, and but it's a 12 one, and I thought a little one, so if I'm ever cooking just for me or kids, it'd be spot on. You know, like when Steve's working away. So I just wanted a little one, and it gives me room in my oven, so I've got that. Got myself some powder, Max Factor Cream Puff Powder, which... I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I do wear makeup daily. I always wear foundation and I always wear powder and eyeliner. And I feel naked without it. Um, another stocking filler. Got some Lynx Black. I'm not sure what that one smells like, but yeah, got that one. And then I've got a cover stick. I always have um, just a, like, a little bit of blemish stick. I used to just get Rimmel. But I thought I'd try this one with tea tree oil as well, which is really good for your skin. I always get tea tree shampoo because it's really good for your scalp. So I'm try that one. I'm not sure what colour I got. Light medium. So see what that's like. And then got two more things, I think. Let me just unwrap these. Now, how cute are these? So they're advertised as like tapas bowls. And I just thought they'd be perfect for putting little bits and bobs in at Christmas. Love them. Then last but not least, I've got some Viri Moretti. Now, we don't drink a lot at Christmas. Um, I can't drink a lot anyway because I've got a pacemaker and a condition that's triggered by alcohol. So I can only have like maximum of four, probably four bottles. Um, so I've got those for over the Christmas period. So yes, thank you very much, Cherries. It was very, very generous of you and I do really appreciate it. Um, and hopefully you guys will get to use the code and find some lovely things on there. It is really fair price as well. Um, and I realise that, especially after we Morrison's today and seeing how much they put the prices off. So it's definitely worth, worth comparing. And it's to me, your places like your own bargains, your, um, what's the other one, B&M, places like that, which is just a little bit cheaper than your supermarkets. And Cherry is, is definitely on par with those. So definitely check out the prices. And for the sake of a few quid in delivery, it's definitely worth it. So anyway, I'm going to move on now. I'm going to go on to my way in. So oh, wish me luck. So yeah, definitely got plenty of goodies from Cherry. So thank you so much for that. And um, you've, you'll have seen the last two weigh-ins. They've not been good. I put pound on last week, put pound on the week before. Not felt the best. Um, we, we went away for a weekend at Leeds and last week I tried to do maintenance calories which did work to an extent and then um, I had my work meal as well. I didn't start the maintain calories till um, the weekend was over so I'd already probably been over those maintenance calories at the weekend. So last week I weighed in at 12 stone 12. My aim now is just to stay under 13 stone um, till, well, forever. <laughs> um, I don't want to be going above that. So I weighed in this morning and I weighed in at 12 stone 13. <gasps> so I'm hanging on, <laughs> but I am so close at 13 stone and I don't want to be back there. I mean, it's a great achievement that I've not gone back up to my start weight. I've I seem to hover around that 12 and a half and 13 stone mark, but I have crept up to like 13, four before. Um, but obviously they put my start weight with 14 stone six. So I think I'm doing well to maintain it. Um, I went out last night to see just a little meatloaf, meatloaf tribute tagged um, at a local pub. And I wore a size 12 dress from River Island. And do you know what? I felt so nice. And like my best friend, 
she saw me and she, she commented on how fab I looked and how amazing I'm doing at gym. So to me, that were, that were, it, it felt good. And to say I'd not gone to gym for a couple of weeks and obviously put a bit of weight back on, um, it shows that my body's still going in the right direction. And I think as soon as I'm well enough to get back to gym, as soon as um, I'm well enough to think about and plan food, I'm gonna be straight back on it. I mean, my health this year has been a lot better than previous years. And I definitely feel positive going into to next year that I can achieve what I want to achieve. To me, it's getting under that 12 and a half stone where my body seems to enjoy it there. As soon as I start getting compliments, as soon as I start feeling nice, yeah, I just give up. And I'm not doing that this year. This is, well, next year. Um, so I am going to be weighing him Christmas Eve and I will be getting a vlog up. Hopefully you will see daily vlogs from today um, up until Christmas Eve, but I am getting weighed in Christmas Eve. This week's about minimising the damage. Christmas Eve, we do go to Marie's in the garden. Um, she does a buffet and I won't be counting calories then. Christmas Day, I won't be cal counting calories, but I won't be overeating. Boxing Day, we're going to his dad's and his stepmom's. Um, so we won't be kind of counting them but otherwise I'll be straight back on it trying my best and enjoying Christmas enjoying food and that's why I like calories because nothing's nothing's off the menu you can eat what you want within um, reason and it's about planning and making better choices obviously not feeling well I've just, and and a bit stressed about Christmas and Christmas presents and plans and um, I've just ate for comfort a bit, a lot of beige. I've lived on toast, basically. And toast is just like, oh, it's just so amazing. <laughs> but yeah, it's basically been my diet, toast, toast and toast. Um, and throwing in a few ninja chips. But yes, I am gonna, um, finish this vlog here. I want to thank everyone for all your lovely messages. I've read them all. I'm not sure if I've replied to them all. I've just, just not been with you this week. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely feeling like I'm on the end of this bug now. Um, and hopefully I'll just pick up and then I'll have a fabulous Christmas where I, do, I feel absolutely fine. So I'm gonna relax now, take some bars of them all and get myself fit for for working tomorrow and um, hopefully filming for you guys. So let me know how you're all getting on, if you're all sorted and ready for Christmas. And um, yeah, and I'll, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching, bye.